Hi, y'all. I am so excited about tonight's video. I'm going to be playing with the wonderful Primary Elements. That's me. That's me. I'm very, very excited. I cannot believe Leslie sent me a care package that had all this stuff in there uh, so that I can play with this. Um, I was already a fan. These are all the ones I'd already purchased. So the fact that I get more, more colors, I just can't even. So I'm going to do some blooms. I wanted to show you. Uh, most people in the acrylic pouring world by now have heard of these. But to work with them is just amazing. I mean, the the colors are... Well, we will show you some eye candy here as we start mixing. But anyway, I'm going to do a bloom. I'm going to mix it with the recipe I showed in my last video. In an upcoming video, I'm going to do a bloom using only the Vivid Enamel. But I want to practice that first. So for today's blooms, I'm going to use untinted house paint and varnish as a pouring medium. The... Uh, Ratios, exact ratios are going to be in the video description. And then for the cell activator, I use Floetrol pre stain wood conditioner uh, and white or black paint. So, anyway. okay. So, the first color I'm going to mix is Iris Petal. Look at this up close. Look at that gorgeous blingy bling bling. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is put a little bit of the Vivid Polypore in just a little bit on the bottom so that I can put the powder stuff on it. I'm going to cover it up because I have cats that tear through the house like banshees. Always good to be careful when you got kids or cats or dogs or people, little people that you, you love. Oh, that's pretty. So that's a, a nice. Um, and don't worry, this is just to to wet those all those pigment. Um, flakes. So now that I've got it, all the pigment flakes wetted, that was about an eighth of a teaspoon of pigment. So I'm going to go a teaspoon of pouring medium. I like to use all of this stuff as quickly as I don't want to have a whole bunch left over after tonight. I really like making it for for the night, you know, just All right, so that was a teaspoon. So that's one of the things about this technique is it just does not use a lot of paint. beautiful color shift okay so I've mixed up some colors I couldn't decide on the colors, so I just went all out and mixed quite a few um, they are in order so this is stargazer that I mixed with some interference uh, blue just some extra so it lightened it up a little bit. It was already light, but I lightened it just a little more. Those interferences are really fun to mix uh, to make, to change the colors up. This is Iris Petal. Okay. 
gosh, what an autofocus. Iris petal. So pretty. And this is the consistency I've got with the the uh, untinted house paint and varnish pouring medium. This is Dragonfire. Maybe the prettiest color in the world. I don't know. I mixed it with some blue sparkle just to give it some extra sparkle. It was already sparkly, but have all these fun things I can play with. So, so that's Dragonfire. Look at that. I mean, color saturation is insane. This is Sunburst. Beautiful, beautiful yellow. Um, this gorgeous red is Vavoom Red. I don't think I mixed it with anything. Look at that. Just absolutely stunning. I mean, that is just... So yeah, that's Vavoom Red. And Mallard Green. <laughs> this is just gorgeous. Oops, I need to... That was some pouring medium there. This is mallard green. So beautiful. Um, this is autumn leaf that I mixed with a good deal of interference gold. To It lightened it up considerably. Um, I really like it. I think it's going to be probably in every bloom I do tonight because I love this. So that and then last one but not least Mandarin Blush which is a gorgeous shiny shimmery orange Mandarin Blush. So Okay. So I'm going to make some ornaments. I'm going to start off by, this is a white paint that I get from Walmart. I'll put the picture of the can in uh, down here in the frame. I'm going to pour a, a pillow of this onto the ornament so that the color has a, can float on top of there. That's probably, that's way too much. A lot of that's going to um, slide off. But, so now in terms of colors, let's do, uh, I want some of this gorgeous autumn leaf with uh, gold, inter interference gold. I want that to be the main. I'm going to do, I know I, I did, don't have to, but I'm going to do two. I'm going to blow out two blooms. So, autumn leaf. And then, the mandarin. Orange. You see how just very little paint. You just don't have to use any paint. Hardly. And then I think I'm going to go something crazy and do Stargazer. That has a lot of interference blue. Trying to move fast so that this uh, this is not exactly level, this uh, contraption I've got going. I'm going to go white cell activator. 
Yep, C8, there it goes. And I'm going to go ahead and blow that out. Take my glasses off. Oops, blow it off. That didn't work, did it? Still, that's pretty. All right. And I'm going to do that. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so the first one didn't uh, quite take, but that second one did. Okay. So maybe if I... Maybe if I linked it that. Got some going there. So, you really, you know, it's kind of stuck there on the bottom. Look at that. That. Uh, But I'm um, going to go ahead and I'm going to leave this pretty thick on the ornament so that, that most of that pattern stays. I'm not going to be pouring a lot of that off. I just want you to be able to see those stunning colors. I'm going to be dropping paint on my landlady's floor. Let me see what I can do here. Wow, that's just... It's not picking up the, um, the shine like I'm seeing it. Like I'm looking down, seeing one thing, and then I'm looking in the camera, seeing another. There's, uh, it's just gorgeous, y'all. There I go, mallard green. That's uh, gorgeous. I think I'm only going to do two colors because I, I really want to, uh, and then the star, stargazer. I really want to see the, uh, how it works. I think maybe trying with two at first will give me a better idea. Okay. Black cell activator. See if you can see the consistency. Mm. Okay, that'll do it. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Oh! Holy night! The cells, they are a The cells are so very pretty. Look at that. The cells have come and made us all so happy. Look at the shiny primary elements. They make us happy too. 
Just gonna leave that. Good night. Yes, I'm gonna leave the singing in the video. I am, because that's how I feel. I love you. Like that black cell activator, y'all. That made me burst into song, as you could see. All right. I like doing these fast. It's like I'm not thinking. I'm just like, boom, pick some colors and then just, I mean, just not plan it out. All right. What if it goes good with the black cell activator? This beautiful Vavoom Red is so pretty. Vavoom! <laughs> and then I'm going to go, this has got to be my favorite, the, uh, Sunburst yellow. And I'm going to go black right on top of that. Oops. Dang it. Was not centered. Okay. Well, I'm sure it'll be fine. Wow. So adding that just little drops of water to this cell activator, um, it changed everything for me. It, it made me all of a sudden now I'm getting cell explosions. Um, I must have when I first started been having it a little, the cell activator a little too thick. So This is the right recipe. Very happy with it. And now I think I'm going to do a small canvas just to uh, end this video because just have a little bit of a bigger surface to play with. Not much bigger. This is, uh, I watched a video by Tammy Anderson today and almost peed in my pants when she described this, uh, I believe it was this very canvas as four twigs and some toilet paper. <laughs>
the next day. It's not the next morning. It's the next evening. It was a busy, busy morning. And I wanted to show you how these dried. Look at the sheen on, uh, look at the cat. Look at that sweetness. You're so sweet, spider. <laughs> but also, look at the sheen. This has not been resined or... That's the way that pouring medium works, how it dries. But look at these primary elements. Holy cow. Now that is going to make some absolutely stunning jewelry. It's a uh, real similar. This is a, a primary elements canvas I did last week. And... Uh, you can see I've got glass on it already. I'm gonna. I'm doing one of my next videos is gonna be how I do this, how I make snap jewelry. Uh, but you can see what the glass does, how it highlights that those gorgeous um, iridescent and met metallic. It's really just iridescent, but it's just. That blue right there, that is that Northern Lights color. Holy crows. That's like my favorite color. And then that is uh, Sunburst. That yellow. So there's that one. So these, as you can tell, and I think they dried a little with a little less sheen. Still absolutely gorgeous and iridescent. But I think the fact that it's that chalky plaster affected the finish and uh, it's not quite as shiny as the the canvas. So, uh, but still, these are going to be, I'm going to resin these and uh, give them as gifts, I think. We don't usually do a tree. Uh, I, uh, was dumb dumb and just plopped them right down there on the, the thing. So I'm going to have to sand that stuff off. But this one kind of, um, you could see that blue, the way the blue, you look at it like that, you can't see the blue, but then you shift it over and. So, I just absolutely love these colors, uh, these primary elements, and uh, you're going to be seeing a lot more videos of me playing around with these, and because I am a crow. I love, love, love shiny things. All right, so yeah, that's me, because I got primary elements. This is Cruz. Cruz. So thanks for watching, you guys. I uh, really appreciate it. I hope you have uh, a wonderful Thanksgiving week. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. I've got a lot of videos planned, a lot coming up. And uh, probably a lot more singing even in the videos. I don't know. I kind of, uh, I felt good, man. <laughs> so, anyway, thanks for watching, y'all. See y'all in the next video. Happy pouring.